With any patient, we always want to talk about specific disease entities in a caring, in a kind way. You know, people come to us as ophthalmologists and they have a cataract. Well, it's easy. They can't see. You know, they come to us as LASIK surgeons. They say, Doc, I want to get rid of my glasses. So the forethought after that comment is pretty easy. We're going to talk to them about laser vision correction, or we're going to talk to them about cataract surgery and premium myo wells. Well, for some reason, many physicians feel uncomfortable sometimes talking about acquired ptosis or droopy eyelids because they think of it as a cosmetic problem. Well, I think the most important thing is to make it a functional problem. Say, Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Smith, I notice that your lids are droopy and my technician talked to you about that a little bit. Can you tell me how that affects your daily activities of living? Or do you notice that that droopy eyelid kind of has you tilting your head back as you're looking at your computer? Or has you kind of want to lift your brow so that you can see a little bit better. And as a matter of fact, if we actually put a drop in, most of those patients will walk in after having a sample of Upneak and letting me know that they're seeing better. So I think that have the conversation either yourself or enable your technicians to have that conversation, but talk about the daily activities of living more so than the cosmesis. The cosmesis is, like I say, electric windows or heated seats in the car. We're going to talk about that later, but we want to show them functionally what that does for them.